Hey everyone, welcome to Penny's Not Perfection. I'm Mary and today we're going to be talking about 2020 financial goals. I have a lot and you probably do too, so let's get started. Today I'm going to be going over my 2019 goals to make my 2020 financial goals. I recently shared my online business income goals for 2020. So the things I want to do with this YouTube channel and my Etsy shop. So I have a lot of big goals for that, but I do have some financial goals as well. That would be under the kind of earning and paying off debt category that I had last year. A lot of these goals are not necessarily year goals. They are going to be things that I continue to do. So these are all goals that I want to keep going as practices in my life. So they're less goals, more like ongoing things. So today I'm going to share actual financial goals I want to hit. For my 2020 financial goals, basically I sat down and wrote out the goals that I wanted to hit and my husband wrote out similar goals. Some of our goals overlapped and then some of them are just continuing on the path that we have already been on and a couple are new and are things that I feel like we've been neglecting but are super important. So those are things that are going to be a little bit new and they don't necessarily follow a certain plan like we don't follow obviously Dave Ramsey 100% so if you are a Dave Ramsey person and you watch me thinking that's going to be how we do this it's not but again we are a little bit different than the typical debt paying off situations I am really excited about all the goals that we have for the year however I do know that some of them are not necessarily going to be that achievable unless we make drastic cuts to our budget so we are going to be doing some major things in 2020 regarding our budget and the monthly outgoing spending that we do that means that things are not going to be the same and we are going to probably fail and change things up in ways that are totally different so i hope you guys stick with me as we go through that process so the goals for 2020 i'm going to start with the ones that i had written down because this obviously is my channel and my husband's will be next but the very first goal is actually one that we both share and that goal is to finish saving for our used car fund. So we are going to buy a new to us car in 2020. We want to buy an SUV. We still haven't decided on the exact car that we're aiming for, but we do have a rough goal of $15,000. And that does include the trade-in value on one of our cars. We aren't sure which car we're going to trade in. So there's a lot of questions left on that particular goal, but we do want to finish our car savings and buy a car. The second financial goal for the year is to max out my Roth IRA. This is new to the channel because I've mostly talked about paying off debt and budgeting, but I do love investing and I have started to share more about investing. So I do want to show that I can max out my Roth IRA. We do currently save our in our 401ks to get our employer matches, but I also want to go above and beyond that and max out a Roth IRA, which I have actually never done. I do have a nice little Roth IRA balance that has piled up from contributing $1,000 one year, $2,000 another year. I think the most I've ever put in there in one year is $4,000, so I have not ever maxed it out, and I would like to do that because I know that saving for our future is very important and i have come to the realization that i don't want to put that off just to pay off loans that aren't really giving me any benefit other than emotionally and helping my mom of course that does not mean i'm not paying off debt my goal number three for 2020 is to actually pay off loan for b and that current balance is four thousand eight hundred and ninety one dollars and I also, for number four goal of 2020, want to pay off the next loan after that. That is the loan that I'm calling for C, and that balance is $5,744. So that is another loan debt situation that I want to take care of in 2020. There is one big loan after that, but I'm not going to commit myself to paying it off in 2020. I would love if that would happen, but I'm obviously going to have to make more on YouTube and Etsy to make that happen. So I'm not going to commit to it because I do have a lot of other financial goals for the year but 
I am going to commit to paying off at least 10 grand in debt and hopefully doing more and paying off the other one as well. I would love, love, love to be done with all of this debt in 2020, but I'm also not going to throw all of our other financial goals under the bus just to make it happen because it is, as many people tell me in the comments every time I'm paying off the debt, is not really giving me any benefit. So let's move on to Jason's goals for the year and they are similar to mine and I am very excited that I have a husband on the same page and we are both working toward hitting our money goals because this has not always been the case and we've had so many fights over money, but I am so proud of where we are now going into this new year. So his first goal, which is number five on our 2020 money goals, is to start saving for car number two. The reason why we haven't decided which car we're trading in is because they both are 10 years old and have problems, so we are not sure which we're going to replace first, but we are going to immediately start saving for the second car replacement as well because that is going to be important too. So he his first goal is also, of course, finishing the car savings, so his second goal really is to start car two savings. Then his next goal is to add 5k to our emergency fund. I will be honest, this isn't a goal I would have added or thought of, but it is. it does make sense when we think of coming into a possible recession and a lot of people in the world and in our country, and I understand wanting to have a little safety net, so I am cool with that, and I'm always down for more security feeling with money. His final goal of the year is to develop a side income stream. And this is super exciting for me because I obviously love side hustles and love side income and I'm not sure at all what he plans to start, but he is going to plan to save more money, which is amazing because it will help us hit all of these goals. We wrote out all of these goals without really thinking of how much the total would be to accomplish all of them. So after writing them all out and kind of talking about what we both want to do for the year, I decided to add up the totals for what these things might be. And honestly, it is a lot of money. Adding them up, I'm only adding up the ones I had actual tangible numbers for. So the car fund saving seven grand more, my Roth IRA 6,000 more, paying off the loans, and then adding money to the emergency fund for five grand. So all of those in total are a lot, and that doesn't even count saving for the second car because we don't really have a firm grasp on those numbers yet. So just adding up all of those numbers, we get a number that is a little bit overwhelming to me when I write it out because it is a lot of money. I know it's possible for us to do this and especially with cutting back our monthly lifestyle, we can totally hit all of these goals. But when you're faced with a big number like this, it is a bit overwhelming. So the total is 28,635 to hit all of the money goals that we both want to accomplish. That equals out to a little bit over $2,000 a month, which we currently are not anywhere close to saving. We are doing okay doing $1,000 toward our car fund right now, but doubling that to hit all of our other financial goals does sound a little bit overwhelming. And on top of that, we do have a lot of little tiny secondary goals that are going to add up as well. So I wanted to go through and kind of do a little brain dump of all these secondary financial goals that I have that are all money related, but not necessarily the big goals that we want to hit for the year. One of my goals for the year, which will help all of the other goals, is to do a no spin month. And I would actually like to do several no spin months throughout the year. And I think doing that will really help to cut back on how much I spend personally and overall for our family. I do also want to create a travel plan using travel hacking with credit card points and all of the possible bonus things I can get so that we can do several trips that we have planned or want to do during the year. If you're interested in those trips and the plan for that, I will share that later, but for now it's just an idea. And then the next secondary goal is to invest monthly kind of for fun because we don't have a huge goal for this. And that amount is going to be super, super small, like $20 a month. And honestly, just might come from my personal money, but I do want to start building up little portfolios of maybe dividend stocks or something like that because I like I said, find investing very interesting and love to play around with it. So I do want to keep investing maybe in M1 or Robinhood and Elevest. Keep investing in all of those. Next, I want to increase the savings in the 529 plan for Penny so that she can have higher education at no cost to her. We did increase it with family contributions this year, but I want us to do it on our own as well. And then the next goal is to seriously research the next house that we want to buy. So we are in a neighborhood that we don't plan to stay in, even though it's lovely, 
but we do want to go to a better school system so that we don't have to utilize private schools. So in 2020, I want to seriously research our next home and neighborhood because in 2021, we probably will likely start looking to move. Or maybe 2022, it just depends on what we find. And then last, we want to research preschools because Penny is going to be starting preschool soon and she cannot stay at the in-home daycare that she's been at because they do not go past the age of two. So we will start researching schools and get her enrolled in that, which will cost more, but it will allow me to work and earn an income that can hit all these other financial goals. And then hopefully eventually once she realizes that I'm not home a lot, I'll be able to actually stay home more with her. I don't know. These goals are all conflicting with my internal desire to spend more time with her, but that is something I'm going to work on because I'm going to work on self-talk that holds me back on my business and earning more money and finding ways to make the life that I want because in a lot of ways my life doesn't fit right now but it is all conflicting goals and now you know my primary and secondary financial goals for 2020 so I would like to hear one financial goal you want to hit in 2020 leave it in the comments below and let me know what one goal you're going to hit is and then at the end of the year I'm going to ask if you guys hit it because I need accountability and you might too so let me know what you're going to do in 2020.